lastly, we thought this was going to happen a couple of months ago, right immediately after the Deontay Wilder loss to uh, Tyson Fury in a controversial, um, I get, you know, when a good friend of ours, good friend of the show, Mark Breeland, who was Deontay Wilder's trainer, threw in the towel um, after, you know, seeing Deontay Wilder take a lot of punishment in that fight. Um, but he has officially let Mark Breeland go from his team. So he will not be training um, Deontay Wilder for the third fight in the uh, series with Tyson Fury, which actually we said last week was supposed to be on December 19th, but now they're talking about pushing the date back as well. So we'll update you guys um, with that one when we can. And we're going to try to get uh, Mark Breeland um, back on the show so we can kind of talk uh, about the whole situation and see what's going to be next for him. In regards to Mark Breland, uh, we know Mark Breland's a, a good friend of the show, close ties to the show. We would love to have him on to discuss um, not only the, the recent departure, but obviously just the, the relationship with Deontay because he was there with Deontay early on. And I think you and I both agree, Trip. We thought he got a little, uh, Mark Breland, I'm talking about, got a little bit of yeah. a bad rap from the media for throwing in the towel. Um, but I, I respect his decision for doing it. As he always said, I, I care about the man, not just the fighter. Yeah. And he wanted to make sure his his guy was okay to fight another day. So I hope that this parting was purely a business decision and not any lingering feelings from what took place from that uh, f Wilder Fury part two. Yeah, and at the end of the day, you know, Wilder has 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 a beautiful daughter, and you know, Mark Breland throwing in the towel could have been the difference in whether or not he got home to see his daughter because when the fight starts to look like that, he had already been knocked down a couple of times and he just wasn't looking good in that fight. And, you know, even though we've seen Deontay Wilder not look good in a fight and then he'll get the knockout punch later in the round, we had never seen Deontay Wilder get knocked down and he, he, he didn't get knocked down just once. He got knocked down several times throughout the fight. So this, this, Situation was a little bit different, and I understand. And you know, listen, if I'm in that ring, yeah, you know, I want to go out. You know, I know um, one of the things like with, with like soldiers, it was like they they want an honorable death, which were, you know, which we dying in the, in the field of battle. But don't nobody want to see you know you die in the um, in in the ring. Um, we we had ray boom boom mancini on the program shout out to, to ray shout out to um rington new york he came to one of the uh the dinners and you know his fight with uh duke who kim was the reason that duke who kim lost his life and he scored it. We are back in Las Vegas with the champion, Ray Boom Boom Mancini, and uh, they have uh, taken the challenger of every game, Duke Koo Kim, out of the ring on a stretcher, and uh, apparently he is there taking him uh, this shot moments ago on videotape, taking him uh, to a nearby hospital where he will be. So we've seen it happen before. Not that it happens all of the time in boxing, but you don't want to take that chance. When you've got that type of, of, of love and respect for somebody, you'll take that heat to say, you know what, my guy didn't have it tonight, and I don't want my guy, you know, we, we see how a lot of these fighters end up. I didn't want my guy to be like that, so I, so I threw in the towel. I thought it was Sam, and, and you got to respect that, man. Yeah, and, and, and not only just, like you said, not only toying with your life, um, toying with your sanity, because we've seen a lot of fights, who, a lot of fighters who have taken a really bad and brutal loss who are never the same moving forward. And so what Mark Breland did was to preserve, like, all right, we take the loss, we take it on the chin, fine. But it, we live the fight another day and we can regroup from this. But sometimes if you take a loss that's so bad, mentally, you're never the same. Um, you know, we, we know, even though in this situation it was different, but we know when Miguel Cotto lost um, to Margarito, it, it, uh, you know, it was a legal substance, but we didn't know that at the time. We didn't know it was, it was a weapon in his glove. And Cotto took a few years to really get his mind back to where it was because it was such a brutal loss. Perfect so, example. That's a perfect right. Example. I, I, I applaud Mark Breland for what he did in understanding. Again, you care about the man more than the fighter. That, that's a personal relationship. You're not just my fighter. You're somebody I truly care about. And I want to make sure that you come out of this okay 
And there are going to be plenty more fights moving forward. We just got to make sure we leave this one okay. Exactly. This is Deontay the Bronze Bummer Wilder, heavyweight champion of the world. And you're watching Real Fans Real Talk. Live from the king. Uh huh. This is Real Fans Real Talk. Real Fans Real Talk. We as real as you thought.